Hi guys, Andrew here from ProStatus Financial Advisors Group. Even though tax season is over with, I still get a lot of questions about how can I save money on capital gains taxes. Well, let's start off with the basics. If you're selling your primary home and you are filing as a single filer, you have up to $250,000 above the cost basis that you don't have to worry about paying any capital gains tax on. Anything that's above that, you will be paying capital gains tax normally at a 15% rate. If you are a married filing jointly couple, well, that number now doubles. Instead of $250,000, you have up to $500,000 in which you don't have to worry about capital gains tax. Uh, now, if you have, let's say, rental property that you plan on selling that and you're worried about spending or having to pay capital gains tax, you can do what's called a 1031 or a like-kind exchange. Now, with those situations, what you need to do is you have 45 days in which you have to declare that you're going to be doing this like-kind exchange, and you have 60 days in which you have to act upon it. But if you do so, and you do move that money from one rental property to another rental property, you don't have to pay any capital gains tax. Two other ways in which you can kind of avoid capital gains tax on other type of investments, one of them would be if you did a invest into an opportunity fund. Now with an opportunity fund, you're investing into what's called an opportunity zone. And what the government is trying to do is they're trying to help out areas that need to be brought up. So if you invest into these areas, you basically can reduce your capital gains tax down to zero if you have it in there for over 10 years. Another form of being able to save money on capital gains tax is you can use a Delaware statutory trust. You're basically uh, investing into REITs. Any and all of these types of questions that you potentially have, please contact us at ProStatus, and I hope you have a great day. Take care. Thank you. Bye-bye.